Hi everyone, we are now in Lima in a very special neighborhood. And it's the most traditional, it's colorful and artistic here in Lima. It's very nice, huh? Yeah, we just came and we already love it. Yeah, and you know what? It's the smallest neighborhood here in Lima, so we're gonna try to walk all, all over. over. Yes, welcome to Barranco. Barranco is one of the nicest places to visit here in Lima. A lot of tourists are even staying here because of the vibe that this neighborhood has. And this is the main square and a nice place to start our journey here in Barranco. We are now in the patio of the restaurant Bio Cafeta. It's one of the best kept secrets here in Barranco uh, because it doesn't have a name, a sign outside and they want to keep it like this. Uh, they say that it's like a secret in between them and of course their clients. But since they have a really good food and really good offer, we found it. We found it on blogs, we found it on internet sites and so on and so on. So let's go and let's try. Okay, we just finished the food, it was really good. Yeah. The restaurant is really good, really recommended, huh? Yes, it's very tasty. We had a very nice vegetarian soup. Uh, we had quinoa burger with some uh, salad and... Yeah, and quinoa burger, how was it? It was... It was really, really tasty. I have to say that I loved it, I loved it. Yeah, <laughs> so I'm a meat guy, but I tried today. Uh, it was lentils with some like uh, ratatouille on the top. It was really nice. Yeah. I mean, I really liked it and I was surprised that there was no meat no. and I was super, it was very good. Yes, very actually good. very light food so you can go yeah. and work in the office and you don't get sleepy, It's right? true. <laughs> and also if you come with somebody that eats meat, it doesn't matter. Yeah. There is choices. There so it's have. a vegetarian restaurant but it has some choice. It has some fish, fish chicken breast, yes, yes. Uh, it's okay, yeah, it's okay. Yeah. It was and good. And the price is good actually, 18 yeah. soles for this menu. And it's all organic. Yeah. Yeah. It's very good, so recommend it. <laughs> recommend it. We're in the most famous place here in Barranco and this is called the Bridge of Sights or El Puente de los Suspiros. There is a saying, saying that if you cross the bridge holding your breath and you manage to do it, you're going to be able to find your eternal love. And now if you have love in your life, that love is going to last forever. This bridge was a huge inspiration for the famous Peruvian composer Chabuca Granda. This place is a beautiful alley called Bajada de Baños and back in the day it was the only access that you had from this part of Lima to the beaches and now still is an access to the beach so we're gonna go and walk around. In the 1930s, this Bajada de Baños was extremely popular to go down to the beaches. Now it's full of street art, bars and nice restaurants with the best view. Bajada de Baños is very picturesque. It has graffiti, it has restaurants, bars, it even has a bridge that connects this part to the sea. And because of high waves, this beach is very recommended for surfers. In Barranco you will find four beaches and through Bajada de Baños you have access to all of them. Barranco is a neighborhood to walk around and enjoy the street art, even hidden galleries all over. A place where you can find good food and drinks all day is the Bohemian neighborhood of Lima. I guess it's time for a cup of coffee, and this is the best in Barranco. This is a very traditional place in Barranco, and it's very popular and known as the best coffee in Barranco, I would say Lima. So the thing is that they use the best Peruvian coffee in the season. So they keep changing. And when you try the coffee, it's delicious. So if you come to Peru, if you come to Lima, if you come to Barranco, you have to try Peruvian coffee. The 
so you have to try the Peruvian coffee. Peru is recognized as one of the best coffees in the world, so there's no other way.